I have my model here today, which is B, and she's a casually fabulous everyday lady. Um, and what we're going to be doing today is smoothing out her hair. As you can see from looking and observing what we have here, a lot of people will refer to this hair as mixed race, frizzy, curly, bushy, um, afro hair. Um, and as you can see, it's naturally got a lot of dry, frizzy texture going on. Um, the ends of the hair have actually been pre-coloured already and the roots of the hair are virgin. So what you get with that is a lot of dry frizziness towards the ends of the hair in the middle part. And at the roots you get a lot of density because it's virgin hair. So we're about to do stage one and I'm going to take my casually fabulous lady to the basin to shampoo. Shampoo is very important because it sets a good foundation to a casually fabulous finish. So what I'm about to do now is to detox uh, my casually fabulous lady's hair. Uh, and by, from doing that, I'm just going to add a really strong shampoo that's going to lift out any excess product. You don't really need a particular brand that can do that for you. When you're applying shampoo, um, you really got to use it quite discreetly so it works for the client's hair. It's not always the more shampoo you use, the cleaner the hair is going to be. It's all about the application and how you actually work it through the hair. Uh, when cleaning curly afro hair or any hair that's quite thick, it's quite important that you base the round the hairline with the shampoo and then work from the curl set, the crown of the hair at the back and work up and then cross section it through and apply the shampoo and that will help you to work it right through the hair fully. I personally like to be quite full with the hair, as you can see one has quite big hands. So um, it just works a lot easier for me to take it right through. It is also quite important that you do have a technique when washing curly hair. Um, sometimes you will find it gets quite knotty, um, i.e. to the over-processing of the colouring of the hair or just for the fact that the hair is not being washed in such a confined form. So that's my first shampoo and the hair is sitting really nicely all the way down to the bottom of the sink which indicates that the shampoo is being done really well. So for the second shampoo, I'm going to be using a shampoo that's designed for coloured and stressed hair. The reason being is because the majority of the hair is coloured and already processed. So I'm going to get a better result by using that, i.e. than using something for virgin hair that's not coloured. I'm about to apply the conditioner now, and before I apply the conditioner, I'm just going to take some of the excess water from the hair. The reason being is that if you've got a really strong conditioner and it's quite intense and there's too much water on there, it's going to dilute the product. The conditioner works a lot better when the hair is semi-wet and semi-dry, so i.e. just towel dry before you actually apply the conditioner. By doing that, you just literally pat the head dry and just squeeze it down. So as you can see now, what I've just done is literally shaken the hair just to give it some air, just so I can actually apply the conditioner quite well. You only need about this much conditioner. A lot of people seem to feel or think the more you put on, the better result you're going to get. So what I'm going to do is just put this on and show you how to apply this amount of conditioner for you to circumference of this fabulous head of hair. As you can see, I'm just going to literally work the conditioner through the whole head of my hands, right through. And what I'm going to do now is finger comb the hair. This works really well for anyone that has very matted hair or uh, very knotty hair or straw hair or over processed hair. Literally going to scrunch it through right from the ends. And then as I'm doing that, the conditioner is actually working now and it's allowing me to detangle the hair with my fingers. And from that, I'm now able to go up to the roots. A lot of the times when people do put conditioner on the hair and you look at your hands and you have no conditioner left, you therefore go in and get more conditioner. If you just put your hands together, you get more. That is enough conditioner now to apply on the baby hairs at the front and through the neckline. The reason being, you don't want conditioner to sit too heavy on the scalp because then it stops you getting a lot of movement. Um, it causes a, a lot of buildup on the scalp as well. So if you're blow drying or your client leaves, you, you end up two days with greasy hair. And that's because I haven't washed it up properly or it's too intense what's on the scalp. So literally working that conditioner through now, and as you can see, it's actually detangled. Um, quite funny enough, um, my casually fabulous lady told me that her hair gets quite knotty. Um, and as you can see, I even put a brush to the hair and it's already detangled free.
and that's just from how you apply the conditioner. So it's really important that the conditioner is applied correctly for you to have a great finish. And when you rinse in the hair, just rinse it, just going downwards, and it should just rinse it right out. And as you can see, the hair just falls very beautifully now. The waves look really consistent, which indicates you've done a great shampoo and the conditioner's worked. When you're drying the hair, it's really important that you dry the hair so the, the shafts of the hair are still very smooth. A lot of people get towels and start rubbing the hair and da 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 da, and that breaks the hair, snaps any weak hair, and kind of sets a very frizzy foundation for you to start blow drying. We don't want that. So, to avoid that, I advise literally you just put the towel on the head, ask the client to sit forward. And as they sit forward, you just literally go down the head very gently and just damp it down. The head therefore is sitting wet free uh, all the way up from it and it's now ready to blow dry.